Welcome to the Emotional Fitness Channel. I'm Marianne Cusell, and today we're going to be talking about your pain or cravings in the body. You might notice that you have a craving to reach for relief for a certain thing, whether it be comfort eating, alcohol, cigarettes, uh, drugs, prescription drugs, and so forth. And you also might notice that you go through stages, some worse than others. And today I'm going to show you and uh, demonstrate and offer solutions and not only understanding what the pain is trying to tell you, but actually give you the um, remedy for where it comes from, what is it speaking to you about, so you can heal this uh, inflammation in the body that's causing the pain. Now, uh, the reason I know so much about this is a couple of months ago, I went through chronic pain. For over a month, I couldn't hardly walk. I would wake up in chronic pain, and I just didn't know what was going on. I went through a whole lot of medical tests, and they couldn't give me the reason, apart from saying it could have been lupus, um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis throughout my whole body, uh, there was one stage there where they didn't know, I had two doctors looking at it, uh, could have been a hormonal, could have been this, could have been that. And when they gave up and said, look, you know, it's definitely some sort of rheumatoid arthritis, we need to spend you, send you to a specialist, it could be fibromyalgia. So I started researching and I noticed on every expert with uh, inflammation, rheumatoid arthritis, none of them, and they all said, they didn't know what, it, what caused it. So alarm bells went off for me because of my studies with uh, emotional intelligence and how the emotions work in the body and neuroscience. I knew that every disorder in the body comes from uh, in, some emotional disturbance, some trauma from the past. So if you have suffered some trauma from the past, being neglected, um, being constantly criticized, uh, things like this, you will notice that especially females, when they start going through menopause, I say to people who do that, if you haven't dealt with your trauma from the past, it will really deal with you when you go through menopause and start manifesting in pain, severe pain in the body somehow. So what we tend to do is we reach for relief more to feel better, whether it be wine or sugar or things like that. And that temporarily makes us feel okay because it's uh, seducing the nervous system. It's uh, masking the problem, which is the emotional disorder. Uh, a lot of people feel like they come home to themselves when they have a drink of alcohol. It's like, ah because you're seducing the nervous system and saying it's okay for now. But what tends to happen is the buildup of inflammation gets worse and worse and worse as time goes on, and this causes chronic disease in the body. So how do we fix it? Number one is we need to alkaline the body first and foremost. And this is what you do on a practical level so that your body can reboot itself to neutralize from a clear space. This is how we do it. You must do things like, well, I'll just tell you what I did. So put lots of green into the body, which is alkali, uh, putting things like celery, uh, spinach, and putting some ginger in there, lemon juice, things like that. And this turns the body into alkali. So whiz it up, put an apple in there, whiz it up, and have that go into the body before your first meal of the day. Hopefully you can do something like uh, not having a physical meal until lunchtime, and you're cleansing the organs, preparing the food so it can be digested without turning into inflammation, acid uh, beforehand. Another great tip to do is to make sure you get apple cider vinegar for, for those that can have it if you've got prone to um, gallbladder problems or stomach problems, I wouldn't recommend it. But make sure if you're going to, you get the apple cider vinegar with the word mother on it. Now, the mother is the mother apple 
that is anti-inflam, antibacterial, and antiviral. And so it's antifungal, all of it. Brilliant stuff. So the first thing I do in the morning is put two capfuls in my water bottle and skull that. And then before lunch, I will have a green drink. And then I will just have some protein. So really, really important. Now, I'm not asking you to let go of your wine. I'm not asking you to let go of uh, your comfort eating, all of these things. But what you'll notice is these behaviors are trying to cover up uh, the cravings, are, uh, are trying to cover up some emotional disturbance in the body. So here's a question to ask yourself. Ask the body just a simple question. What are you craving? Now, we're not here to look at the symptom, which is, well, I'm craving wine so that I don't have to feel this way. Just stop for a moment and even journal for two minutes. My, bo my body is craving. And what you might notice is in our nervous system, it tells a story. We have a vagus nerve that runs from the coccyx bone up to the brain to the amygdala, which is our freeze, flight, or flee, freeze, flight, or freeze mode, right? So it also affects all the organs in the body. So when you've been traumatized as a child and your nervous system has been continuously restricted or you've been yelled at or picked on or criticized or put down, uh, then the nervous system starts freezing down to a place where I say you've got a bandwidth about this, uh, this wide. And so the nervous system, then we will reach for relief more because we were wanting to get rid of the rigidness, the anger, the the anxiety, all of these things. So we want to calm ourselves down and that's why we reach for relief. Now, if you've done loads and loads of years and years of study and work like me, I never went to AAGA or any other A and I went through chronic times of addiction. And so I was allowed to release all that addictive behavior over time, the more inner work I did. Now here's the golden nugget. There's a skill in letting go of trauma from the past just by doing some really gentle processes. You don't have to relive it. You don't have to go back and dig it all up. And what I do is run people through a couple of different processes from EFT tapping through to quantum healing that I can actually go through into your uh, generational trauma that you're maybe holding on to as well. And this is where I get a gentle guide gently guide you through so that you can actually let go of the pain forever. And that's what I did, completely pain-free, healed myself of that. So what you'll also notice is you'll let go of addictive behavior too, the more that you do this sort of work. And there are layers and layers and layers that you might have or might not have. We'll just have to see. So Number one is neutralize the body first. Get into alkali. Number two is ask your body what you're craving. It will probably be something as simple as love, right? And the more that we're pouring toxicity into the body, the more you're telling your body you're not worth it. I don't love you. I don't care about you. And often you might notice that if you've got a lot of pain in the body, what the thing I noticed in the week I just uh, the, the week I decided to go inward myself and find the cause is that I was noticing I was very critical of people at that time, which is a reflection of what was going on within my body because I was so severely, brutally criticized as a child on a consistent basis. Uh, it was coming up to be healed. And here's another beautiful piece to recognize. The, the brain, when you've suffered trauma as a child, the brain won't allow that trauma to come up unless it's ready to be healed. So if you're in a position where you're wanting to stop a certain behavior, or you've got chronic cravings, or you've got chronic pain in the body, then this pros these processes I will run you through are for you. Lastly, always remember, 
everyone deserves to feel empowered. Thank you.